third conference win in a row, fourth win in a row, uh, I think it's the fifth, um, fifth win in six games straight. Uh, tell me, you know, how you're feeling, how the team is feeling after a really big win like this. Well, we didn't feel great about the first half. Uh, you know, I didn't think we were really quite in sync and uh, didn't really have our focus, but I think uh, the second half we really challenged them to come out and just shut the door right away, uh, especially defensively. And uh, I challenged them to, to keep them under uh, 20% shooting for the half. And I think they held them to 13, so that was outstanding. Um, but just the, you know, we go back to the same old thing, the chemistry of this team, just the, the way they shared the basketball. Uh, I'm not a, always a huge fan of leaving people out there to try to get statistics, and, and I normally wouldn't do that, but since Tierra was so close to Atlanta, it's something you don't get very often, a triple-double. Um, but just the support from the rest of the team to leave her out there. Even people that would love her minutes at that time who hadn't had a chance to play a lot were saying, no, coach, leave her out there. She deserves a shot at it. So uh, that was really nice to see. So just great chemistry, great effort in the second half. And uh, got the win we needed it to win. We haven't got too many home games left, so we got to get them all. Um, you know, like you say, you spoke about the Ciara triple double. She's had like, I think, 12 double doubles yeah. already. Uh, talk to me about her season in general, like specifically uh, sticking out from the rest of the team, like, you know, how good she's played overall. Yeah, Tierra's definitely, without a question, one of the best uh, players in this league. Certainly, uh, I would put her in a conversation, with, probably, without a doubt, probably the best athlete. I'll just say she's the best athlete. And put her in the conversation for one of the best players in the league, without question. Um, but... Um, you know, the thing with her, you know, it, with, even with great players, they still sometimes struggle from time to time with confidence, and I think she does from time to time. We're always trying to, you know, stay on top of her and keep her up and let her know, you know, to, to be aggressive offensively. So sometimes she'll she'll defer to other players, and she is very unselfish. She'll, she'll try to get other people involved, which is great. Um, but at the same time, we're trying to keep her aggressive and keep attacking that rim, which she does so well. So she's been fantastic. Uh, all the girls have. I think her and Robin have a special chemistry, you know. They want to be interviewed together by you guys. They refuse to be interviewed separately, but uh, that's the kind of thing they have. I mean, they know where each other is on the court, and uh, they have a lot of confidence in each other, and they want to, don't want to let each other down. So, And that's what's kind of spread throughout this whole team, so I'm all for it. You, We talked about Wednesday about the girls. They talked about blowing out York, getting a big lead so they can get everyone else in. Everyone else pretty much got in, just about, and everyone else scored was very productive. Yeah. Um, especially Natasha's 14. Just talk about how special it was that they that was their goal and for them to achieve it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I told you back at Brooklyn that you know we certainly didn't want to overlook this game. We wanted to still continue to talk about the process rather than just getting a blowout. We had to remember what we had to do to get them to get a, a lead. And I think in the first half we little, got away from that a little bit and started to think too much about just the result and, st and stop doing the little things we needed to do. So second half at halftime we kind of refocused and got ourselves back on track. Obviously Robin's 50 or 40, I don't know how far it was, the bank three uh, kind of helped a little bit going into the locker room to give us a little bit of more of a lead. But uh, yeah, Natasha was great off the bench. I thought Mariah was outstanding. I think she had nine, nine rebounds in 12 minutes. So. Uh, and we're going to have talked to Mariah. She hasn't played a lot, and it's been tough trying to keep her confidence up. But uh, just talking to our coaching staff that we need to be able to get uh, some minutes out of her the rest of the way with this team. So any bit of confidence we can get from this game that she can use uh, to rebound and play good defense and, and score when she gets a chance inside is fantastic. So I'm hoping she'll build on this as well. I hope we can give her a chance to get some more minutes. Uh, next game against Hunter on Wednesday. Tell me what the team is uh, feeling, you know, heading into that game. You know, it's a big one. It's on the road. Yep. How are you guys feeling? Yep, road wins are all, road victories are always tough to come by, no matter who you're playing. And obviously, the first time we played them, it was, uh, for us, a really horrible defensive night. They really took it to us, you know, scoring 77 points. And, and teams normally don't score that against us, especially uh, they're not really what I would call a running team. CSI is a running team. They're, they're scoring in the 60s and 70s. Lehman scores in the 70s and 80s. You kind of expect those scores in those games. But uh, for Hunter to put up 77 on us, uh, it just shows how we had difficulty really defending them. So uh, we hope we're better defensively. Uh, I know our players are, are motivated to get this win. Uh, and I think uh, you know we're in the best possible mind, state of mind right now to try to get it. Uh, 
because we know how important this game is. Obviously, it's important to Hunter too. We're all playing for positioning, but uh, you know, I hate to say must win, uh, but it, it's pretty darn close. Got to get it. The team, uh, it's only about your performance, uh, specifically um, away from everyone else in this big win against York. I think I shot the ball well, you know, like in the beginning, like shot, I kind of shot a crazy shot, but after that I got in the groove and I was just like, I was feeling it, so I just kept shooting. All right, uh, it's a really big win against York, you know, um, it's your third straight conference win, your fourth straight win overall, and it's your, you've won five out of six games. Tell me about, you know, we spoke about team morale and team chemistry last time. What does this win do for you? Like, it just how much more, uh, how more confidence does it give you? It gives us a lot of confidence. Um, like this was a great win. Like we all had like, each one, each and every one of us had a great game. And, you know, we just gotta take this win and just keep moving forward and keep the positivity going. How good is it that the bench was able to get some people on there? Natasha had 14 points. You know, tell me how you feel like to be able to get the second unit out there, get them some good minutes in this game. It felt really good. Like I always, I always want them to like get in the game and like, cause you know. The, like, on and off the bench, we have so many talents, so it's like for them to come in and also like continue to like keep playing hard, it's like it's, it's a great feeling. One of the goals everyone was talking about from Brooklyn was getting everyone in and getting everyone, everyone solid minutes and you know, kind of building a big lead. You guys had Robin had a huge shot. Would you say that was kind of the thing that kind of sparked that second half? Yes, definitely. That was something that like. Like it's happened before too. Like she hit two big shots and she hit two big shots again, Brooklyn. And like after that, it just, it just gave us like the pump and like the energy we needed to just be like, yo, like this is our game, and we just gotta we just gotta keep this up and just continue to keep playing hard. How do you guys prevent complacency going forward? Is you guys won, y'all won five of your last six, four in a row. And this one you won by fifty. This game you won by almost fifty points. How do you prevent it? How do you? Prevent against complacency going forward and just given you guys at Hunter, then Lehman, two tough games coming up on the road, and then at, and then at home against CSI. How do you kind of keep it? Better question, how do you keep the momentum going? We just gotta keep coming and practice hard and keep playing hard. Like, we just gotta keep up the momentum. Like, in the, as long as we keep up the positivity, like, we'll be good. Like, we'll be a great team. And, like, people are not, and, like, we just gotta keep come practice, like practice and practice. You'll see how we are in the games. And if we practice hard, we're gonna come out and play hard. Because when we practice, like we practice, t like if we practice, if we practice hard in practice, the game should just be fun. And that's what we're trying to do: have fun. You two, right? you had your first triple double of the season. Tell me how big that is for you, and like you know, overall, just the cup, the cherry on top of the cupcake, you know, and a big win against York. Incredible. But then again, you know, it's, it's all about the team and my coaches believing in me because when at one point I was going to get taken out when I had eight assists, I was like, I got y'all, believe in me. and believed in me. And for my teammates too, like from the beginning, we, we all set goals like, yo, we're going to go in here, this is what we're going to do. Like, we know they're going to be in here type of shit saying like, oh, we beat Brooklyn. If they beat us, then, you know, like, every, like the coach always say, anybody's beatable in this like conference. So like, we wasn't letting that happen. So. You, you had um, 14 points off the bench. That's pretty big, especially um, the team. The team was, uh, you know, you you were allowed to get off the bench, you know, because of the first unit, you, how good they did. Tell me how big this is for you, you know, coming off the bench, 14 um, points. Well, it's it's big for me because like I'm a transfer and I'm new to the whole program. So like coming off the bench and being able to do that is something that I've been trying to do. Hasn't really been working in my favor, but. Finally, I'm showing, like, I'm proving myself to, like, show them where I can be. So, I mean, it's, it's good, but I still have more that I need to accomplish and more that I want to show, so it is what it is. Finally, you, Robin, you had the buzzer beater shot in the, at the end of the half. So, talk to me, talk to me about that. That's what you did. You gave you guys uh, a lot of uh, momentum ending going into the locker room at the end of the half. All right. First of all, I always wanted to get that opportunity to shoot that. And then when, when Taylor inbounded the ball, I know it was three seconds left, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take this risk. If I miss it, I might not start the second half. So it's all or nothing. So I just threw it up and that was Jesus. Honestly. Yeah, honestly, that was, God. That was nobody but that was Jesus. Over he God. himself grabbed that because no it. one can do that. I thought That's she was God. throwing me an alley, but when <laughs> once once I saw it got here, I was like, I believe in my son. That's my son. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely That's my best friend. That was That's Jesus. My best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Young folks. Three conference game wins in a row. Four wins in a row, and you've won five out of your last six games. 
tell me about the game against Hunter. You know how you guys are feeling heading into that. They're not, I, they're not as easy as York. I mean, they're not. Yeah. Would it be they're not as easy as York? Yeah, they're not as easy as York. They're not Lehman though. So they're in between. Tell me about that game. How are you guys going to prepare for that? One word. We're hungry. I mean, like, I, I never played them, but, like, we could beat them, and we're going to beat them. And I'm excited. I'm really excited. I feel like our confidence is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Like I said before, I feel like somebody's gonna go in there and just dump on Hunter's neck. <laughs> like seriously, they will be crying, our crying. Is crying on the roof right now. The last yeah. time we They're lost, gonna be tight. Them, the last time we lost, I don't even know how that happened. And plus, we had um, we didn't have Natasha, so now we got more help on the wings. So I think we're gonna definitely smoke. Them. The overall goal everyone talked about was getting people from the bench in the game and getting substantial minutes. How rewarding was it just from your sh your shot kind of sparking that second half to get every, not just Natasha's 14, but Mariah had nine rebounds and everyone else was productive. How special was that for y'all? It feels good because it's like there, there's times where I'm tired and I actually still have to push through that. So for him to give everybody else a chance, I'm never selfish with time on the court. I actually felt good just sitting down and watching my team just you know, Take me. do what they had to do. I'm next. After her. And then one thing is that about what you were saying about everybody scoring and stuff. It, feel, it makes us feel good as the starters too because like we go going head to head with the people that's on the bench and practice every single day and we know what they can do. So we're like, yo, give them a chance. And they showed us like, you know, some teams only got five people that come up with us. We got a lot of weapons. That's why we are very scary. I think scary. like coming from the bench's perspective since I'm on the bench, um, it's, it is rewarding because you do sit there and it's frustrating sometimes when you want to get in the game and you can't or like you don't. And now like we prove, a lot of people prove themselves tonight. Like he can sometimes rest them for a certain amount of time and we could come in and do what we got to do. So like, it's a good thing. It really is. I'm, I don't know. It feels good knowing that we have somebody. We actually have people. We have some up. people, you know. Hold us down. Yes. Yeah. Until we get up to respect. Whatever thing. Love our team. Let's go, Beavers. Let's go. Beavers. <laughs>